All right, for the first time ever in the history of Castlevania, beating the entire game with red rust only. The only restrictions that I'm allowing for this run is that I must, as soon as I acquire the red rust, I'm only allowed to do damage using the red rust. So no spells, no wing smashing, none of that, none of that stuff. So if I damage any enemy or boss, it has to be specifically with the red rust attack. And that's it. That's the only restriction. Uh, everything else is fair game. If you have a problem with how I'm playing the game and say, um, actually, you cheated because X, Y, and Z, that's fine. You can leave that comment right now. And actually, uh, I will read it, and it will hurt my feelings in real time. I will go, ouchie, ah, the approval of the YouTube comment section. It hurts. Ah, they think I cheated. Ah. Just don't acquire the red rust. <laughs> now you're thinking. Now you're thinking. Do I care if Twitch chat thinks I cheated? Maybe. I guess if I wanted to be like as authentic as possible, I could try and like skip all of the enemies until I get red rust, but that's just slow and silly and doesn't really matter, to be honest. What? It's fine. Is this even randomized? Ah. Uh, but you're you're gaining free experience, which is unfair. <laughs> sure, why not? What? It's weird how much more power YouTube commenters have than Twitch chat. Don't don't let them know that. Don't let the YouTube commenters know how powerful they really are. Oh, God. Fuck. Okay, wait, whatever. We don't need that one. 69. Calculated. There it is. Red Rust. The only item we need, baby. Wait, I should have skipped the Cube of Zoe. I'll just turn it off. Cube of Zoe isn't necessary. I think getting sub-weapons uh, would be bad, because I might accidentally use them. But yeah, no sub-weapons. I'm not going to do it. Okay, so if you don't already know, oh god, about Red Rust, it is a sword, oh my god, that sucks ass, that has like a 20% chance of just failing. Um, unironically, I'm gonna put on the hide curious. <laughs> oh god, Jesus Christ, all right. Because that extra defense might matter. There we go. So yeah, it has some of the worst stats in the game that Leather Shield will never actually use. Um, some of the worst stats in the game. It's worse than your fists. It has a tiny hitbox, and it has a 20% chance to fail. So, you know. S-tier weapon, exactly, yes. It is an S-tier weapon. It is one of the best to uh, ever do it. I'm just going to skip these guys. They're not worth fighting. All right. I will save the game here because my HP is actually low and I'm saving for the sake of uh, HP. Uh, you know what? For the content, I will get Spirit Orb. Just so you guys can see how much damage I'm doing. Yeah, that's fine. Because Spirit Orb's like a, what, 40 second detour where I have to fight like three enemies. It's not that big of a deal. All right. How many times will the Red Rust fail this fight? That's twice. Three times. There's Slogger down. We have to get Gaibon now. Four times. Ow. The swing speed is also so slow. Six times? Five times? Something like that? If you don't get double kill, I'll be disappointed. How? How am I supposed to get double kill with just the red... Get out of here. Get out of here. I am going to grab this, actually. 
I think the life max up unironically is going to be important. You know what? Fuck it. I'm damage boosting. <laughs> I'm not dealing with this. I will, however, be using this spell to, like, try and dodge some enemy attacks just to make my life easier. And if you think that's cheating, uh, I again, YouTube comments, please let me know how much you think that that is cheating. I will read it and I will cry myself to sleep, I promise. Because all I do is I, I just, I yearn for the approval of strangers online. Magic is allowed so long as it doesn't do damage. Yes, it is allowed. I'm not allowed to do damage to enemies unless it is with the red rust. That is, that is it. That is, that is the, that is the one restriction for this run. Everything else is fine. I urine for the approval. Exactly. Yes. Hellfire is just a short range library card. True. How about stat up stuff like Varda? I'm going to let you in on a little bit of a secret. I've already told you the rules. The only restriction, only, only, I've said only 7 million times, only restriction is I'm only allowed to do damage using the red rust. Let's see how much damage we're actually doing. 10 is not that bad. That's pretty good. Ooh, 11? Never mind. We're fucking cooking now. Hold up. Maybe this challenge is going to be easy. 11 whole day. 24? Okay. Do the splits. Sure, whatever. See you later. Weird ass doll. <laughs> Saying only more than an OnlyFans subscriber. True. Where did you come from? Didn't I kill that guy? Why did he respawn? I didn't respawn the room. Anyways. Could I have done death skip? Uh, yes. But I didn't feel like it. That's fine. Theoretically, with this rule set, I could do death skip, yes. I just didn't want to. Keep that in mind, YouTube commenters. I could have kept all of my powerful gear and have just been using the red rust whilst also having the some of the best armor in the game. God damn it. It is so hard to aim this thing. Yeah, I'm using the pacifist strats, true. So one of the things that uh, sucks about this weapon is uh, it's very slow to swing on the ground. Like, this is the fastest you can swing on the ground, is this speed right here. And um, you can't angle the attack in the air. It only... It, the sword just swings horizontally. There's no way to, like, angle it downward in front of you. So if you want to uh, cancel the attack... Uh, animation by landing as you swing the sword. It's like genuinely very difficult because you have to have the animation finish or like the hitbox come out at the very, very uh, bottom. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Don't hit! No! No one saw that. Uh, edit that out of the video. I wasn't thinking. Uh, I wasn't thinking. Reset? No, I don't wanna. No, I'm che I'm actually cheating. Okay, now, okay, if you've made it this far in the video, now you're allowed to comment that I'm cheating. If you've made it this far in the YouTube video, please let me know how much of a cheater I am. Feel free to timestamp it and say, actually, you didn't follow your own rules. You are a disgrace and a loser. I am unsubscribing. That's fine. Uh, 
This is Malarkey. Dragon Blitz Daily will hit me with the timestamp. True. It was more of a warning, you know? I knew I needed to use a spell to skip past that guy. I just used the wrong spell. Oh, one of the nice things about Red Rust, by the way, is the fact that it actually curses Doppelganger, so he can't do normal attacks. He can only throw sub-weapons. See? Look at this nerd. He can't do shit. <laughs> I also can't attack sometimes, though. Fuck off, dude. Okay, I'm getting bullied now. I'm fucking this guy up, though. Oh, the back dash? Got his ass. At least he plays by the rules. He's literally using sub weapons. He's cheating, too. All right, another life max up. Does that work on Doppelganger 40? Yes. Yeah, in this game, um... Ow. In this game, um, the elemental effects that uh, affect Alucard can also affect the Doppelganger. So Curse is one of them. Um, there's a few swords that have the Curse element. Uh, Red Rust is one of them. I can't... I think uh, Muramasa is another one that's Curse element. <gasps> Ow. I got fucking shot. And my health is almost gone. Uh, Tearfing, is that curse? I thought the Tearfing was dark element. It might be curse. Yeah, you're right. I just never care to use Tearfing, so I don't really care. Oh, go down, please. Yeah, there is a difference between the dark element and the curse element. This is like one of the few games that has a distinction between them. There's another life max up. It's important we max out our, 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 our life here. I'm not using the bark attack to grab that garnet. Otherwise, someone would be like, um, you did damage with the bark and not the sword on that uh, breakable pot. Checkmate, atheist. How would I make Red Rust worse? Uh, make the hitbox worse? Make the damage worse? I don't know. Make the percentage chance that you don't actually get the attack you want worse? There's many ways you can make this weapon worse. Um, it's arguable whether this is the actual worst weapon in the game. Um, Tearfing, I think, has an argument to possibly be worse. It's just that Tearfing gets a lot better the higher uh, level you are. Because once you're a high enough level where Tearfing actually starts doing damage, the tier thing becomes better because the tier thing has a better hitbox. Uh, it can multi-hit while in the air. It has a faster swing speed. Like the tier thing is a normal ass sword, uh, but it's just attack value is negative 30. So once you get past the 30 damage um, cap, then it becomes a normal ass weapon. Whereas the red rust never becomes a normal ass weapon. It stays bad the entire time. Thank you. Yo, sub 14 minute clock rush? Nice. Oh, god damn it. The final boss right here, dude. This might be world record pace, guys. I, I don't know what to say. This, this seems like we're on good pace. Sub-14 was world record at some point. Probably, uh, maybe, I don't know. I doubt it, actually. This is a regular run. I'm not playing the randomizer because I feel like playing the randomizer and then giving myself red rust would just be silly. Maybe it wouldn't be, I don't know. Nice. Four hundred dollars? That's a lot of dollary dues. 
Brando is silly. I agree. Look at these dudes just jumping over me. Silly ass. Are shields banned? Um, technically, no. But the Red Rust is a two-handed weapon, so it's not like I can use the shield to shield dash. What up, Tatsuo? I'd have to like unequip the 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 sword and then re-equip it over and over again, and I just don't feel like doing that to be honest. Alright, let's see if we can get this boss first try. This boss is legitimately tough. I kind of have a strat for it. Nice crit. Okay, I gotta jump over this. You should use Blanca Ball here, so I should jump over that. He's gonna run at me, backdash. He should do the, the, oh, this attack, okay. And then it's fireball, yeah. Then punches, Blanca Ball, or no, rush, and then Blanca Ball. Mm-hmm. God damn it. Oh! God damn it, dude. It's really tough. Because you're locked into this super laggy animation. Oh, shit. Whoa! He, he faked me out! Okay, one down. This is my only move that I can reasonably do damage, is right there. Everything else, it's like impossible. Okay. I will heal um, because otherwise we're in trouble. Ow. Ow. See, this is why I heal. Dude, how did that miss? <laughs> What's happening? Ah! Three HP is plenty. We're fine. Like, I just can't hit him because his fucking axe is massive. Dude! I'm going to shoot myself out of a fucking cannon. Twelve damage. Twelve damage per cycle. Twenty-five. Huge. Mer. Oh, oh! Huge damage, actually. Mer. Fuck you. I'm out of healing. Ah! Uh, why? Why would you? Why would you? Uh... Fuck, that's fine. We got damage. That's all that matters. Mer. Mer. How much health this fucker got? What? what the fuck the breath attack do? Deathless. Barely. 
literally, oh my god, what a dumb boss fight. But we made it through. Jesus Christ. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'd use all my healing items. Okay, we could do the shop glitch for like infinite healing items. But I ain't no bitch. I'm, I'm letting you all know I could have. I could have. But I won't. Instead, we got six potions to our name and that's it. I could go get some peanuts. Yeah, that is an option. We'll go to the second castle and farm for some peanuts. Another library card? I don't need it. What do I need another library card for? Uh, you know what I want to do is... This room sucks. Um, oh, God. Uh, reset, reset, reset the room. Reset the room! I'm dead. I'm so fucking dead. <laughs> well... How many people thought I was going to do this challenge deathless? Because, um... <laughs> That's not happening. I'm sorry. I tried, but I got the worst, worst RNG possible there. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. <sighs> How many people? 41% of you thought I would do this deathless. Oh my God. You know what? I rip your points. I, you know, believers, you believed a little too much. Why did that have, like, a ghost effect? God damn it. I can't be trading with this guy. Oh, my Christ. Okay. Just damage boost through, I think, is, like, my only option. I guess I think I just have to get lucky and damage boost through. Like, how else am I supposed to get past here? Okay. Good damage boost. One more. Oh, okay. That's fine. I, I don't need health. 80 health is plenty. Okay. Nice. I've been learning a lot from the past fist run. Learning how to AI manip that one particular guy. 10 damage is not a lot. I think I'm just going to try and ignore the summons. Where's the mud man? There's the mud man. Shout out to the mud man. Can I get some uh, yep mucks for the mud man? Oh. The mud man actually fucked me up there. Oh god. Oh, I, I don't think I could ignore the, the summons anymore. This is getting a little silly. Uh oh. And I'm cursed! Oh god. This. this oh god. I'm in the corner. Okay. My only chance? Use invincibility. I have to wait for the curse to wear off. <laughs> um, so what have you guys been up to? Having a good day? Oh god, he's coming! Nice hearts. Ow. Yo, level up off the mud man? Huge. Ow. Kill the skeleton, please.
Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, we did it. <sighs> Why is the summoning rain rainbow, is he, like, summoning gay mud man? Uh, honestly, that's fine. We don't judge in this in this neighborhood, in this household. Let me in, Jesus. Timer broke. What were we at? Let's just say 25. Right? 25 minutes, 0.69. That sounds about right, right? Yeah, there we go. Something like that. I'll make sure the timer doesn't break next time. All right, now that we have the soul of bat, we have to be very careful to not accidentally hurt any enemies with our wing smash. Ah! Ah! Stop! I'm getting fucking comboed, dude. Leave me alone! Can I ignore them? Okay, we did it. We did it. Huge. All right. Bat acquired. What is going on with my live split? It's just silly. My live split do, do, does silly things sometimes. It's because of the hotkeys I have to use for the foot pedal that I have. Um, sometimes makes the, the, the actual splits go weird. Come on. Let me in. Thank you. It is a lot easier to avoid enemies. However, I will be very strict about uh, wing smashing through enemies. If I wing smash through an enemy, I will reset. Foot pedal? Foot pedals are pretty common for people who want to speed run. Because it allows you to activate your splits while keeping your hands on the controller so you can still video game. So no Hellfire teleport allowed? D no? Who said that? Are you just making up your own rules for your own challenge? Why would wing smashing break the red rust rule? If I hit an enemy with the wing smash itself because the wing smash does damage. My rule is I'm only allowed to do damage to enemies and bosses using the red rust as the damage source. That's like the whole point. Except for that one time. But we don't talk about that. Only the YouTube comments are allowed to talk about that. Frick off, dude. Getting me stoned for no reason. <laughs> Yeah, YouTube will know. Oh, God! I wasn't looking for two seconds, and that's like, oh, my health! Oh, fuck. Oh, Christ. All right, we're fine. How did that happen? You're supposed to just be able to fly straight up and be fine. Okay, no random Medusa head there. Um, I think I can get through this room by just wing smashing up the top like this. Yep, didn't touch them. We're good. We're good. No damage dealt. Easy. Peasy. Isn't this food? Or are these throwables? These are throwables, yeah. All right, time for the hardest boss in the game. Critical six damage. Oh, 14 damage. That's huge. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't want to have to deal with this attack. Come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Not the balls. Ah! I didn't want to have to use one of my potions here, but I actually will.
This is the first time Karasamon has ever made made somebody sweat. As long as I don't get bad RNG, this stun lock is guaranteed. Oh, come on! Well, you know. The random chance to fail. Come on. Nice. Alrighty, I didn't need that potion. I kind of wasted it, but it's fine. Yeah, as long as you uh, do critical hits every single time, the red rust is actually broken. True. All right, let's go save the game. Because this next section is not going to be that easy. How does crit damage work? It's um, a random scale. When you get a critical hit, the amount of damage you do is a random uh, number based on how much uh, luck stat you currently have. So the higher your luck stat, the more potential damage you can do. Okay. Let's go ahead and make our lives infinitely easier by grabbing Power of Mist. And by grabbing Leap Stone. Both of these are going to be insane. Leave me alone. Okay, let me just do this the, the normal way by dive kicking out of here. There we go. Okay, now we have much better opportunities going into the second castle. Why not play in luck, luck mode? Because the rest of your stats are dog shit bad and stupid if you do that. And I'd rather have good health and good defense and good attack values for consistent damage. Because your actual crit critical hit chance rate doesn't increase when you, um, uh, with higher luck, if I remember correctly. All right, let's go fight Richter real quick. No, what have I done? Thank you, Alucard. I guess he just gave up. Never mind, we don't have to fight Richter. Yeah, this is like a really, uh, it's like a one in a million chance that if you talk to Richter, he'll randomly just, uh, give up, so. Cheater? No, it's random! Guys, I got really lucky. It's just a random chance that Richter gives up. You wouldn't know any- trust me. 100% facts, exactly. It's not cheating! There's no ch explain. Explain how I'm cheating. Use your words. Use facts and logic to explain how this is cheating. YouTube comments going wild right now. I jumped with the wolf. I'm sorry. Where in the ch challenge name is it no wolf jumping? This is mostly for swag. It's not even going to help my defense that much. Yeah, Richter was like, wait a minute. I don't want to fight this guy. He's got the red rust. So he just gave up. Shaft is like, oh shit, this guy. Um, You know what? I'm actually going to fight this guy. This shouldn't be too hard, right? How much health does this guy have? Any knowers? I can't. You're, you're off the screen. I can't do damage. Please stop cheating. 35. 18. Oh, God. Oh, he tried to hit me with the grab. Okay, we're good. 600? That's not bad. That's like a couple dozen attacks. What? Where is his hitbox when he does that? Huh? Huh? Ow. Fucking hit me with a spiral arrow. No, 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 no. This is why we got power miss. Because that attack is undodgeable sometimes. If you're bad, by the way. Not actually undodgeable, but it's like undodgeable if you're bad at the video game like I am right now. 
Oh, come on. Get off the top. Get down here and fight me. You jerk. Ah, never mind. Don't fight me. God, this guy. Ow. 69 damage, 69 health. That's all that matters. It's RNG manipulation. You need 69 health to uh, get infinite crit damage. See, just like that. I told you. We manipulated the critical hit to kill the boss with the 69 health. It's just that easy, folks. Ring of Vlad. All right. Not bad. Uh, what are these items again? Are they the same? Sure. Can yeah. Okay. All right. We got to be... I should probably save the game, actually. I'm going to go save the game. Because um, this area sucks ass, and I'll probably die. And I don't want to have to fight that guy again. Did I use any cheat codes? No. I played through the game. I'm playing through the game 100% normally. Super normally. The only thing is we got really lucky with the uh, the Richter uh, RNG. There's a random chance that Richter gives up um, when you try and um, fight him. So he led us into the second castle early. But other than that. Yo, thank you, Bark. I'm glad you're uh, enjoying the content. There's a high potion in one of those walls? I'm not trying to get high right now, okay? I need to be as sober as possible to finish this challenge, so I don't understand why you would offer me drugs. Do I have any strength uh, accessories equipped? Right now, no. This is why we got Power of Mist for this room. Yeah, Richter knows how powerful the Red Rust is, so he just gives up. Exactly. Okay. Dude! Get, go, go, go away! Please! I'm just a little baby. I'm just a little tiny guy. What's over here again? Um, Yeah, Strength Potion's fine. I feel like that's that'll be helpful, maybe. I doubt we'll even get the full uh, use out of it, though. This is why I came here. I feel like this is, like, the only strength upgrade we can reasonably get unless I go farm for Vardas. Which, I mean... I don't think that that's a good idea. Unless... If I just get lucky, and I get a Varda drop right away... <laughs> maybe. Maybe, you know. Maybe it happens. I'm not going to say no to getting lucky, all right? Uh, creature gives tooth, right? That's like plus 10 strength. Or plus 10 attack. Something like that. I think we'll fight creature. Garnet, unnecessary. Oh, get up there. True, Creature likely isn't anything anyways. He probably doesn't have a relic, so I, I probably should just skip him, right? Yeah, you're right. No, Creature is nothing, guys. We'll just skip him. Alright. Um, how much health do they have? Oh god, the big bone. Oh, it's not bad. Okay, I'll take a gauntlet. That's better than nothing, actually. <laughs> I'll call that a W. We don't we don't need to sit here and farm anymore. That's fine. We got what we needed. 
That's a pretty rare drop. I could kill Beezlebub to get the Ring of Arcana and make this farm a little bit easier as well. Yeah. Ow. Don't do it. He thought about it. He thought about rolling, rolling, rolling. There we go. Easy peasy. Why oh, does creature sound like Elmer Fudd? Because, I mean, look at him. Bro, if I do this whole challenge and only die one time, or one time, I mean, from a fucking flea armor, that's going to be really funny. Am I going to fight Gallimoth? I don't know. What incentive do I have to go fight Gallimoth? I'll fight Gallimoth if you donate $100 right now to the stream. Pride? No, I'm good. Yeah, I don't need... Uh, no, I'm good. It's Pride Month, so we're, we're fine there. We have plenty of Pride to go around, actually. We have a whole month full of it. Fuck you. Stop hitting me with your bone! Thank you. Hundred dollars is a steal. I'm starting to think that maybe I shouldn't just be grinding for this random drop. You were just curious? It's okay. This is a, this is a safe and opening commu uh, welcoming community. Open-minded community. You can be curious about whatever you want here. Especially for Pride Month. Do any swords affect luck? Technically, the only luck increasing gear that I'm aware of is the Alucard set. But I could be wrong. Okay, well, you know, I'm starting to think we won't get that Varda drop. Fuck. For a thousand dollars? Are you gonna drop the thousand dollars, Foe Emperor? I'd do a lot of things for a thousand dollars. All right, I'm giving up. Lapis, yeah. When I when I was referring to, oh, well maybe not. Hold on. Might real quick. I mean, what's wrong with increasing our luck a little bit? You know what I mean? I didn't I forgot that that was there. So, with that in mind, oh, hold on. Huge actually. The luck the luck potion works. That's for sure. Once the luck potion wears off, I'll give up. Oh, fuck off. Why is your bone so massive? It's so big. Like, I'm not jealous or anything. It's just like, put it away, you know? There could be kids watching. 
Clearly not his bone. Well, maybe. Who knows? The Anthropus, or however you're supposed to pronounce this enemy's name, could have a vestigial bone that they remove and use as a weapon. We we don't we just don't know. There's just not enough uh, scientific research done currently. Yeah, we don't bone shame. Yeah, what's the lore? Fuck off. God damn it. Is the luck gone? Yeah, the luck bonus is already gone. All right. Well, we got the extra gauntlet, so there's that. Appreciate it, uh, Huffy. Why are their bodies sucked into a black hole? That's a good question. That's a lore question I would like to know. What What does Matthew Patrickson have to say about this? What's the game theory here? Are they getting sucked into the Five Nights at Freddy's dimension? Perhaps they're going to do an Among Us? Click here to find out. Very sus, I agree. Uh, I'm happy that we all share the same brain cell. All right, let's go beat the game. Let's go fight the final bosses for like 30 minutes or whatever. I feel like this is probably the best stat bonus wise I'm gonna get. Unless I go out of my way to get the Alucard set. Which I guess I could go do. Like, what's stopping me from going to go do the Alucard stuff? Nothing really, right? Oh, God. Bro. Homie be firing his laser sometimes, and I get scared. I'll be honest. I don't like it when he fires his laser. Okay. Where's the Alucard set? Uh, you can get the Alucard mail in All Rox's quarters. It's pretty easy to get. I have to wait for the, the statue to move, though. 15 seconds? Okay, I'll go save the uh, the game since I have to wait 45 seconds anyways, and then I'll come back, just in case we die. But I think grabbing the Alucard gear could be nice. There's, like, other gear I could get, but I don't think it's worth going out of my way for it. The cock may ha may ha. That's a... You know what? I'll take that. That's comedy right there. Because it, see, what you're not realizing about Kakamehameha is it sounds a kind of a little bit like Kamehameha, which is the uh, beam attack from Dragon Ball. So, but cock refers to the penis, right? Kakamehameha versus Majin Bukaki. Grand finals. Dive kick on an enemy? I didn't dive kick off of an enemy. What are you talking about? That didn't happen. I don't know what you're talking about. Genuinely, I'm not even trying to troll. I, I... Y'all are just making shit up. What are these items? Shield potion? Luck potion again? Hold on, guys. I need to go back. Guys, we can we could get the Varda drop. I just need to go back. We have a whole nother luck potion. Oh god. Leave me alone. I'm missed! I'm pressing the missed button! Fuck off! Game. Vegeta literally has the big bang attack, true. YouTube will decide, whatever, man. YouTube, you got my back, right? You've been watching this run for almost 50 minutes now. You're clearly invested. All right, here's the Alucard armor. Uh, this is pretty decent setup, right? Alucard helm, or sorry, dragon helm, Alucard mail, royal cloak, gauntlet, gauntlet, red rust. I feel like this is probably as good as we're gonna get without farming for Vardas. So I'll take this, yeah. I mean, I could attempt to get uh, more attack power, but I'm just going to choose not to. 
attack two enemies without red rust? That's not true. You're you're just lying. See, I have the power of uh, um. It's a it's a new relic that recently gets unlocked after you've been playing the game long enough. It's called the gaslighting relic. It allows me to gas and light through the power of editing. <laughs> The fire of gas cloud true, a.k.a. gas lighting. Yeah, that one death honestly could have been avoided as well, which is unfortunate. We could have done this deathless. Uh, Leo... I'm just I'm just gonna say Leo because I, I I I my my brain can't pronounce the the rest of it for some reason right now my dyslexia is going really hard but thank you for the prime I really do appreciate it. D did you say I dive kicked off of that guy the back of that guy where it did no damage is that what you guys were referring to? I hope that's not what you guys were referring to because that would make you guys look pretty silly. Renegade okay, got you sorry, appreciate it. Uh, you know what I realized? My hearts are really low. I'm thinking maybe if I just increase my hearts a little bit, it'll make my life a little bit easier. Hold on. Yeah, I'm thinking uh, if we use the heart refresh, that will increase our hearts. And now that I have more hearts, I think I'm going to go save the game. Wait, what? What? Where am I? This is crazy, guys. Oh, my... Hold on. Well, we made it to the save point, so I should save the game, right? Like I said I would. That's crazy. That was weird, huh? Wild. Uh, anyways. Oh, wow. Is this the end of the... Oh, I might as well. I'm not going to complain. I mean... <laughs> wow, we made it. Che where? Where is the cheating? Point on the screen right now. Vote at home. Where is the cheating? Where are the cheating come from? Sub hour, I will inform you these next boss fights are going to take tens of minutes. So we are not doing 29 damage is actually kind of insane. 51 with a crit? Okay. This might actually be faster than I assumed. 51 with a crit? Yeah, nice. Ow. We still have a couple of potions as well. This attack, however, without power of mist is legit impossible. I, I don't think there's a way to dodge this attack without power of mist. Oh my god, only one damage there? That's actually huge. Oh yeah, because we oh, we have resistances um, to, to elemental stuff because of the Alucard armor. So it's really the big balls that we ha have to worry about as far as uh, the attacks here. I could probably tank this damage as well and not feel bad. Yeah, that's actually huge. Dude, the Alucard mail is making this so much easier. Trying to do this with, like, no equipment except for Red Rust is miserable. Maybe I'll do that next time. I don't know. Because I can't give you guys the perfect Red Rust speedrun. Otherwise, how else am I going to bait future Red Rust attempts? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Shaft at it, at it again with his balls. Shaft always be showing me his balls in a way that I do not appreciate. He also says his own name a lot. Yo, we actually did it. Oh, me when my my shaft and the balls get get beaded off, and I go, oh, that is also me. I, I relate. It's like a Pokemon. They scream their name. True. Oh, uh, I am gonna Frankfurter here. The most important item in the game. Uh, we probably Strength Potion and Luck Potion. Because why not? Increase our crit damage. I will Despair. Thank you. 55 damage. Oh my god. We're Red Rust secretly OP? 
That's a lot of damage, unironically. Oh, wait. Uh. <laughs> Two cycle? Doubt it. I'm thinking three cycle, probably, with this much damage. Huge. Oh my god, 119 damage with a crit. When was the last time? Oh, triple digits with the red rust. That's insane. Who thought it would be possible? We never even got those Varda drops. Imagine if we had two Vardas right now. That'd be crazy. Oops, I shouldn't have transformed there. That was a mistake. 35, my strength potion wore off. Oh my god, three in a row. Come on. Come on. Not even a four cycle? All right, that's fine. Wait, is this going to be sub hour actually for real? I was I was fairly certain it wasn't going to be. Come on. Honestly, I want to have a Deathless Dracula fight, but I'm kind of bored. <laughs> it's hard for me to pay attention to what's going on. I feel like I'm going to make a mistake and take damage just because of um, I'm just losing interest. Because this man's taking forever to die. There it is. Go back Time. 57 minutes to beat the whole game. 100% of the game. No, nothing was skipped or uh, anything like that, obviously. Duh. Um, you have been we only did damage with the Red Rust. That's 100% confirmed. There's uh, no evidence uh, suggesting otherwise. And unfortunately, we did have one death. You know, unfortunate. Honestly... That death could have been avoided. Maybe we do deathless red rust only attempts at some point. Maybe no hit red rust if I'm really crazy. No, I would never do that. That sounds ridiculous. Either way, that was something. You know, one death under an hour. Not bad. Well, you know, I expected to die a lot more. Forgive me. Farewell, my son. But we did it. Under an hour, red rust only. World record, probably, if I had to guess. Maybe. I don't know. No one's keeping track. Let's just call it world record. World record! Uh, hey, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. Helps me out a ton. Join the live stream so you can watch me do this stuff live and gamble channel points and all that fun stuff. And uh, hopefully I could see you soon on the live stream. And subscribe to the, the YouTube channel so you can watch more YouTube videos. All right, see you later. Bye-bye, YouTube.